After spending years in Don't Starve Limbo, Wartox has finally made it into the constant as a playable character for Don't Starve Together. And unless you want to part with your hard earned cash, he's going to cost you a whopping 2700 spools. Or 540 unraveled icons if like me that's all you seem to get. Wartox currently has 3 skin sets, all of which come in the Wartox Deluxe chest. Now I think the standout of the three is definitely the Uncorrupted set, which shows Wartox as the innocent and lovable little furball from the animated short. It's also good if you would like to roleplay as a furry. The other two sets are the Minotaur and the Survivor, both of which are decent without being great. It's good to have them, probably won't be using them though. And before we get into the stats and abilities and all that, I just want to talk about the quotes real quick. I've spent a lot of time just examining everything in my base just to see what Wartox will say. They did a really good job here. I feel like some of the characters don't have interesting quotes or not many that really highlight their character traits or backstory, but they seem to really nail it with Wartox. Also the voice, I think it's a violin, is fantastic. The only issue I have with the voice so far is that when you sing The Winter's Feast Carol, he sings slower than everyone else. I'm not sure why that is, but it's very disappointing because I like to sing with my friends, so I hope they do fix that. Anyway, onto the good stuff now. Wartox starts with 175 hunger, 150 sanity, and 200 health, making him slightly above average in hunger and health, and slightly below in the sanity department. So overall fairly average stats, nothing that really jumps out in that area, but it's Wartox's abilities that really makes him stand out from the crowd. Whenever a living creature dies, it will now drop at least one soul, with larger creatures dropping more than others. Wartox will collect souls in his vicinity and can use them to boost his stats or those of his companions. Souls can be eaten directly for 18 hunger but at the cost of 5 sanity per soul. They can also be used to teleport Wartox much in the same way as the Lazy Explorer with no cost at all aside from the souls of course. But the most exciting use of souls is their healing capabilities. A soul dropped on the ground will heal all nearby players including Wartox himself by up to 20 health per soul. And just for comparison, this is the same as a healing salve, except Wartox can get them practically for free. Sounds good, right? So what are the downsides? For starters, Wartox can only hold a maximum of 20 souls. They can't be hoarded in chests or even put in backpacks. And collecting more than 20 souls will cause Wartox to drop around half and lose a chunk of sanity in the process. Funnily enough though, this will still result in the healing effect caused by dropping souls and give everyone nearby about 100 health. Wartox also doesn't receive as much nourishment from food as his companions, getting a 50% reduction in health, hunger and sanity from food items, whether they be raw, cooked or meals from the crockpot. This means that he'll need more than 2 meaty stews to completely fill his hunger meter which is more than even Wolfgang needs to max out his hunger. It's also worth noting that while the positive effects of eating are halved, the negative effects of eating are also halved, so if you were to eat a monster meat, you'd lose half as much health as you normally would. Another downside of playing as Wartox is you lose the ability to befriend pigs and bunnymen, both of which will now target you on sight. Depending on how you play, this could be a major turnoff, or it might not make much of a difference at all. So from looking at the pros and cons, my initial thought was that Wartox would be kind of fun to play as a gimmick, but the downsides would just outweigh the positives overall. I personally enjoy making friends with bunnymen and pigs, and I often use them as backup in boss fights and things like that. And when you add that on top of having to eat more regularly, I didn't think it would be a character that I would be playing for long. However, however, after giving him a shot, I think I've changed my mind. 
is just a lot of fun. The abilities are actually quite liberating. I found in my experience that as long as I had some souls, hunger and health were never really an issue. I went several days without eating anything but souls and wearing a tam can pretty much cover the sanity loss so that's not a really a problem in the end. I can see Wartox being a bit of a challenge for very new players, but I don't think that many new players would be starting as Wartox anyway. The teleport ability gives Wartox a lot of potential for exploring the caves and ruins and also for kiting. For some reason it gives you temporary invincibility, so that's pretty cool if you have the souls to spare, I'm not sure if that will be patched out later. I personally enjoy just jumping in front of my friends when they're on the way home, <laughs> beating them back to the base. I've seen a lot of people saying that Wartox needs a nerf, that he's too overpowered. I've seen a lot of people also complaining that he needs a bit of a buff, and you know what? That probably means that he's quite well balanced. I personally don't think he needs to be changed at all. He might even be the first ever character to not be adjusted afterwards. Wouldn't that be a nice change? Alright, so I thought it would be cool to give Wartox a score out of 10. I've included a few different factors in that score. I've got Wartox's stats, his abilities, the skins, lore, and how fun he is to play. I'll just run through them all. I think his stats are just a tiny bit above average, so I've given him a 6 out of 10. Abilities, I've gone for a 7 out of 10. It would have been a bit higher, but some of the downsides are quite significant. Skins, just a 6 out of 10 as well. I don't really want to be too harsh with only 3 skin sets currently, and the uncorrupted one is pretty good. Lore, I've given an 8 out of 10. I highly recommend you just go around and inspect anything you can get your hands on. The animated short was also very good, and you can see they really followed through with that in the actual game as well. I think Wartox is also the first character that isn't really in the same story as everyone else. It seems as though he can leave the constant if he chooses, which is very intriguing. Lastly, fun. I'm giving a 9 out of 10. Had an absolute blast playing him from the moment I picked him up, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. So, with all of that in mind, I'm giving Wartox a score of 7.5 out of 10. Very solid character. Would highly recommend if you're on the fence about getting him. I also think there's a lot of potential for new exploits and uses for his abilities to come out in the future, so I'm excited to see what the community can come up with on that front. So yeah, that brings me to the end of this analysis and review of Wartox. Let me know what your thoughts are on the character if you've played as him already, or if you're an outsider looking in, what are your first impressions? I'd love to hear them all in the comments below. This is actually my first time making a review of a character in Don't Starve, I've been meaning to do some more guides and things like that on top of my gameplay series so feel free to leave some suggestions of what you'd like to see there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.